Okay, so what I hope to show uh, in this video is how to do some of the, uh, the fundamentals of uh, glass blowing. Uh, and by far, one of the most important skills to learn uh, is how to rotate glass. And in, uh, in this video, uh, I've just got a wooden dowel rod uh, that I'm going to be using. Uh, I want to say this is about six millimeters or so forth. Uh, I, I'll, I'll put that in the description since it's measured uh, uh, in inches, but uh, I haven't uh, double checked it. Uh, anyway, uh, to simulate molten glass, uh, this is just honey, raw honey. Uh, this particular brand and all that uh, really doesn't matter. I actually bought this particular jar uh, because it's an open jar uh, as opposed to little squeeze things. And you'll see why. That just makes it a little bit more convenient. I've also got a, a little uh, extra jar here, a mason jar, in case I need it. So. Uh, notice how I'm positioning the, the dowel rod uh, in my hands, where I'm kind of cradling it with my, with my fingers like this. And then when I rotate, okay, I'm gently moving it back and forth. I'm sorry, I'm rotating. Uh, some, some people do this, where they rotate back and forth. Uh, here I am rotating away from myself, and here I'm rotating towards myself. If you find it doing this, where it's wobbling a bit, that simply means you, you haven't got it seated properly uh, in your fingers. Uh, another thing, if, it's the, if the rod is too long, you can choke up on it like this, where uh, you can see the back of the rod is there. So I've now I've, I've moved my fingers a little bit closer. Uh, you don't want to do this. You don't want to have the rod way out here uh, and then try and do it that way, especially when you're starting, because it'll, it'll tend to kind of move a little bit like this. When you're all you're trying to do is you're trying to hold it on its axis, you know, in other words, if this was, you know, uh, uh, you know, the x-axis on a, a Cartesian coordinates, uh, you just want to be uh, staying there statically and then just rotating along that axis. Now, in some cases, you do want to move up and down and back and forth, and we'll talk about that. So, without further ado, uh, I'm basically just shoving this rod in here, spinning it, and I pull out and now I've got what's known as a gather. Obviously, it's just a, a blob of honey, uh, but it serves its purpose. Notice how uh, from the moment I uh, pulled out of the honey, uh, I've kept rotating and rotating and rotating. Uh, so let's see what happens when I stop rotating. All right. You can see, there it goes. The honey just comes right off. So this is a sure-fired way to develop your, your rotational skills. Even if you have excellent hand-eye coordination, this action of holding the, gla uh, you know, holding the glass rod in the flame and continuously rotating, no matter what you're doing, your, your hand is basically uh, uh, rotating, uh, controlling the glass without you making a very big effort to think about it. Here, I'm trying to get a good big glob of, there we go, uh, honey. I'm letting it, there it goes, letting it get a little bit out of control to kind of move it closer to the edge, or to the uh, end of my uh, uh, wooden dowel rod. Uh, here I'm going to move my fingers up a little closer to the, to the honey. You don't have to, uh, but again, it depends on, on what you want. Now, if I, if I lean back like this, look what happens to the honey. You see how it's flowing towards me? And then if I lean in, you know, if I tilt in the other direction, I should say uh, not lean, uh, tilt uh, now you can see the, the honey is uh, back on the very edge, the majority of it. Uh, there's a little bit stuck, you know, uh, 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 on, the, on the wood that's going to eventually move around. But uh, the key is this, this big blob I've got here. That's what I'm controlling. And you notice I'm rotating away uh, if I rotate towards myself. You know, that, that's fine too. Uh, it doesn't matter. Some people, they go back and forth uh, as far as their rotation. Uh, either, uh, any of the methods, as long as you are uniformly rotating, uh, you're fine. And if you notice, as I was talking, I kind of moved back and forth. I, uh, I got a little bit out of control. Uh, this is actually kind of a weird angle, uh, the way I'm holding it, simply because I, wanna, I want the camera uh, to be 
looking directly at the, the ball of honey, normally my body would be in the position of where the camera is. So in case you're wondering of, uh, if you notice, if you try and repeat this, just be, be aware uh, that I'm doing it at a slight angle uh, just for the sake of filming it. Uh, but uh, uh, notice, you know, like I said, I've, I've been yapping away uh, describing the process, and there is my, my ball of honey. Uh, now, oh, this is going to be dangerous. Uh, now, to get this in focus, uh, how, do I, how do I focus on this camera? Ah, I forget how to, how to work my own camera. Uh, so now I'm going to try and actually, with my, my left hand, uh, hit focus. Okay, that's not working. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, somewhere in here. I'm doing exactly what you should not do. Uh, <laughs> splitting my attention. Uh, huh. Okay. Okay, so now I'm switching to my left hand. And as, as I am talking, there it goes, uh, I just literally, I, I turned uh, the manual focus on, uh, on my camera. So I actually had to uh, switch hands and uh, touch a, or toggle a switch uh, on the lens of my camera and then actually dial it in to get uh, focus. Uh, now, to be even more surreal, I am not looking at the honey right now. Uh, I am actually looking at the video of the honey on my digital camera. I just, I just realized that uh, uh, a moment ago. Uh, so, uh, right now, I actually have very good position, but I am literally not looking at the honey directly. I'm looking at the video image of the honey. In other words, I've got my uh, my video camera on and I'm looking at the display. And I can see it's getting a little wobbly on me, whoop, 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 uh, as I'm overthinking this, there we go, uh, that uh, basically if the, the ball of honey gets a little bit out of control on me, uh, I've done enough glass blowing, whoop, whoop, there it goes, whoop, whoop, starting, to, starting to lose it, there we go, there we go, Whew, that was close. Uh, I've done enough glass blowing to know uh, what to do to bring it back in. Uh, so you can see now it's a very nice tight ball. I uh, want to show you that it is something you can do with your right and your left hand because, or you have to do it with your right and your left hand uh, because when you're glass blowing, uh, you you have to use both hands to control the glass. Uh, for the last I don't know how long minute or so. Uh, I've been doing this with my left hand. I am right-handed. Uh, so, for perspective, there I am. Uh, so you can see I've got a nice ball. I'm, I'm tilting it down a little bit. What that does is it makes the ball a little bit more like a teardrop shape. And again, keeping control of it. If I want to bring it back, I just tilt, in the, tilt up, and that gets a little more spherical, and then keep going. But again, and I'm going to I'm going to move back over my reservoir of, of honey. Let me... Sorry about the focus issue. There we go. I'm dialing in the focus with my uh, my hand. I'm doing it manually. So now, again, you notice uh, I've done a transition. I went from my right hand to my left hand. Uh, and now I'm actually looking at the honey because uh, I'm a little bit above my camera where I can see it. And uh, despite all the bad uh, uh, posture and technique, uh, I've managed to not have the honey uh, uh, spill yet. So now I'm going to stop, and one, two, you know, you can see, in just a matter of seconds, you know, three seconds at, uh, at best, uh, the honey uh, falls back in. In other words, if you don't keep rotating, if you don't keep control of the glass, right, so uh, the, this, the purpose, again, of this exercise is to teach you the rotations that you need uh, to control molten glass. Uh, 